In summer homework number 15, we have a system of equations. There's more than one equation, and we're looking to solve for both of the variables x and y. So our solution will be x equals something and y equals something. Uh, we can also write it as a point uh, x comma y. Um, and in this case, there are many different ways to solve systems of equations. But for this problem, uh, it's set up very nicely to solve using a certain method, um, and that method is substitution. Because we know what y equals, um, we could also do it if we knew what x equals, but because we know what y equals, um, and we don't know uh, that y equals something in the other one, uh, we can substitute. And the way this works is we take what y is equal to, 2x plus 5, and we substitute it into the other equation. Where y is, we put what y is equal to, 2x plus 5. And the reason this is helpful is because it, um, it makes it so that there's only one variable. Uh, instead of having both x and y, after we substitute, it'll just be x's. Let's look at how this looks. Uh, the original equation, the first equation, used to say 5x, negative 5x plus 5y equals 5. Now it's going to say negative 5x plus 5. And then we're going to put in what y is equal to. Instead of 5 times y, it's going to be 5 times 2x plus 5. Because that is what y is equal to. Um, notice that we put parentheses here. 5 used to be multiplying by times y. Now it's multiplying times the whole thing that y is, um, and it's going to distribute. So here's our negative 5x plus 5y equals 5. Negative 5x plus 5y equals 5. Um, and we're going to distribute uh, because the 5 is multiplying times a binomial. So negative 5x plus 10x plus 25 equals 5. Notice we only have x's here, and so this is a lot like the earlier problems you've done in your homework, um, when, where you're just combining like terms, 5x plus 25 equals 5, um, isolating the x by subtracting 25 on both sides, and so we get 5x equals negative 20, dividing by 5 gives us that x equals negative 4. This is only part of the solution because uh, this was a system of equations and a solution is what values of the variable or variables makes the equation or equations true. X equals negative four by itself won't make the equation true, but I can figure out what Y is by then substituting X equals negative four in for Y. I could do it in either one of the equations, but this bottom of the equation is much easier. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrite it, Y equals two, and then instead of two times X, we're gonna substitute in what X is equal to. 2 times negative 4. x is negative 4 plus 5. So y is negative 8 plus 5, which is negative 3. And so our solution is that x is negative 4 and y is negative 3. Um, it's also completely acceptable to write your solution as a point, x comma y, negative 4 comma negative 3, if uh, it's x and y. The x always goes first and the y always goes second in a point. Hopefully that helps.